Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of uh, WooCommerce point of sale multiple barcode plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how to create uh, multiple barcodes for a new or an existing uh, product and how these store admins can print the barcodes uh, as per the requirement and we'll also show you for example if a customer needs 50 units uh, for a per product so uh, instead of scanning 50 times the cash or the seller agent can enter the required barcode name so as to add that number of uh, quantity for that particular product so today we'll be showing you how to generate the multiple barcodes uh, for a single product and uh, before that uh, let me give you a gist for this particular plugin so basically now the WooCommerce store owners can create multiple barcodes for a product and can then assign them with the multiple quantities and on the POS terminal the POS agent or the cashier simply needs to scan the barcode or can enter the barcode name to add that respective product with its associated quantities to the POS terminal uh, cart and can make a checkout thereafter very easily. So let me take you to the web store front end first and uh, let me show you how uh, the cashier would be able to add multiple uh, quantities of a product at the same time using the barcode name and uh, for that let me take you to the web store front end first. And then we'll be showing you how we can uh, add the multiple barcodes from the admin backend panel. So here, right now on the screen, you can see that uh, I'm at the uh, WooCommerce point of sale uh, uh, terminal right now. And uh, this terminal is available uh, within the uh, physical outlets uh, that we have created. So uh, the cashier first would uh, try and log into his uh, account first. So I've tapped the login button after entering the username and the password for the same. So uh, the uh, products have been loaded. So let me cancel this up. And before uh, using the uh, POS terminal, let me enter the uh, amount for the cash draw. And let me tap OK. So now, for example, what happens is that uh, a customer comes in and asks the uh, cashier or the uh, or the POS terminal vendor that he wants uh, a certain quantity of a product. That's for example, let's take uh, 50 quantity of a product. Now, uh, what the uh, cashier can do is he can basically uh, uh, scan the barcode 50 times to add that particular product into the cart. Or to make it easy, what he can do is uh, he can directly type in the uh, type in the name of the uh, product. So for that, what he can do is he can go to this particular icon here, the, the barcode icon that you see here on the, uh, to the right of the card details. Let me tap that up. Now here he can directly enter the barcode uh, for that particular product. Now the admin from the backend would be able to create multiple barcodes for a single uh, product with different quantities. The names should be different, but the quantities can even be same. So. Uh, here uh, the, uh, the, the, the the cashier can uh, enter the barcode here and uh, the particular name that he enters for that uh, product's barcode the quantity assigned to that would directly be added to the cart in a single go name for that uh, particular uh, barcode for that uh, respective product so uh, i've entered patient danger barcode so after entering the name uh, uh, the uh, POS uh, cashier can directly tap in the enter button and on the right hand side let me tap the cancel for the center barcode uh, pop up now now here you can see that uh, at the same time for the patient ninja product 50 quantities have been added now if uh, the customer wants only 40 or 45 he can alter that by tapping the negative or the addition sign to uh, make it 50 or uh, the thing so that is how directly the uh, POS agent can add the uh, required quantities for a particular product by entering his uh, by entering the products barcode so let's try it once more time so let's try and add some more quantities so I'll type in the name of the uh, barcode for that particular product so as I already told you there can be multiple barcodes but the name should be different uh, the quantity can be different for each of uh, the barcodes for that particular product but the name should always be different so let me type in two and let me tap the enter button
so now you can see that uh, the quantity is uh, uh, gone to 70 so we've added uh, 20 more now let me tap in the uh, barcode name again and let me tap the enter button I think I just uh, entered the wrong one all right it was uh, the one was close to that so uh, let me show you how exactly uh, we did it so uh, before that let me uh, process this uh, particular order here so I'll tap the cancel button so now you're seeing that uh, using three different uh, 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 product barcodes I have added 80 quantity of that particular product into the cart and uh, now we can tap on the pay button and uh, we can uh, proceed further to make the order complete so here we can enter uh, the amount that is 3080 and we can tap on the confirm payment and generate the invoice so the order has been uh, placed successfully we can skip or we can print the invoice right now as well so if uh, a printer is attached you can uh, directly print the details otherwise you can also save it as a PDF file so for now we'll just save it as a PDF file and let me open the file let me show you the receipt that uh, we have just downloaded so here's the receipt uh, for the same the uh, order that we have just placed so now let me take you to the back end panel and let me show you how the admin would be able to add the uh, multiple barcodes for a particular product so here I am, uh, here I am at the uh, back end of the WooCommerce web store and here you can see that we have the point of sale system and uh, now what we need to do is we need to navigate through our point of sale and then products and here we have our uh, products that are there within the uh, POS terminal so now to uh, generate the uh, barcodes for the product what I'll do is I'll navigate to WooCommerce and uh, below that we have products I'll go to uh, all products now and here what we need to do is for example we've already added uh, it to a product so uh, I'll first show uh, how to generate the barcodes uh, for a new product for that I'll add a new product and at the same time let me uh, edit one product and let me show you uh, the different uh, uh, areas where we can uh, create uh, the barcode so I'll tap the edit button and now here uh, if you have created a product and it's already created then you need to uh, navigate to the invent inventory section here as you can see and under the inventory section you'll have this option where you can see the bar uh, barcode label name the quantity and a delete column now to add a new uh, uh, barcode label name you need to tap on the add row button and then that creates a new uh, barcode enable name text box so here you can enter the name of the barcode and you can enter the particular quantity that you want to assign to that particular uh, barcode label so entering that barcode label at the uh, POS terminal by the agent adds the uh, particular quantity for example the 74 quantity at the same time to the card so this is a section where you can add uh, the barcodes now uh, let me take you back and after you've added this uh, barcode uh, label uh, to generate the barcode so uh, you can see a uh, print barcode uh, uh, button here under the barcode uh, column so you need to tap on the print barcode uh, button and this brings up the multiple barcode list for that particular product here you can search for the barcode labels as well with their name you can see each of the uh, labels that you have created with their name and the quantity that you have assigned and to print the barcode you can tap on the print barcode uh, link that you can see and after that uh, you uh, you can enter the uh, quantity uh, of the number of barcode slips that you want to print out so you just need to tap on the tap on the print button below and that amount of uh, uh, barcode slips would be generated uh, through your printer so that was how you can add to an existing product that, uh, the barcode label and how you can see the barcodes that have been assigned and how you can print them out and for a new product I'll take you back to the add new product page so uh, right now here uh, you can you are not able to see any of uh, that options to add a barcode slip so we have uh, not entered any info let me add some info first
So I've entered some uh, basic info regarding the product and let me save this no new product first. And now let me publish the product and uh, that's the car product. Now let's go back to all product section. So here we have our new uh, products that the car. So now what we can do is we can tap on the print barcode button here. So right now no uh, multiple barcode uh, barcodes have been uh, generated for this particular product to generate the different uh, barcode labels I'll tap on the edit button and I'll navigate to the inventory section and here you can see the barcode label name the quantity and the delete section to add the barcode we can set it as car 1 quantity 12 then car 2 quantity 32 and now I can update the product and let's go back to the main all product section to see the different uh, barcode slips uh, or the labels that we have assigned to this particular product so I'll tap on print barcode here you can see car 1 and 2 with the quantities so from here we can print the barcode and we can uh, and now the uh, PS vendor can easily add this particular product's quantity for 30 if you want to add 30 quantities at the same time we can use the card to barcode label otherwise if you want to add only 12 uh, units at that particular uh, moment he can use the car one barcode label so that was much about the WooCommerce PS multiple barcode plugin and I hope this uh, video tutorial helped you out if you have any queries or questions regarding this particular plugin, then you can always get back to us at webcool.uvds.com uh, to raise a ticket or you can also reach out to us at uh, support.webcool.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a